Hey, what's going on? Jake here with Uncommon ADC, and in this video I thought I'd just do a mail haul video because I haven't done one in a while and usually don't have the self-control not to open everything right when it comes in and so I don't hold on to it until I have a bunch of mail. And in this case, I, all of this actually came today, so it made it super easy. Now you may notice that a lot of these are already open and that's because I filmed this and accidentally doxed myself a couple times, which would be easy enough to cut out, but also realized it was just super long, and so <laughs> thought I'd get everything out of its packaging because everything was individually wrapped inside these envelopes, and shorten the video up just a little bit in the interest of saving time. Now, one of these is not open, and I'm actually gonna pull this off to the side. You'll probably already see what's in here because I'm gonna pu publish this video before the unboxing video, and so this came as well today, but getting its own video, so I'm not going to show what I picked up here, but let's get all of this out of the way, and I'll show you what came in the mail today. So I just threw that all on the floor, can pick that up later, but let's start with some REs and patches, just because those are easy and fun, starting with some from FTW EDC, and so came with some stickers as well, you got the FTW EDC Chop Shop and the Easy e with the FTW hat on there, so super cool stickers there, and I picked up the Bic Lighter patches from him, and so these came in a variety of colors, I picked the blue one obviously, but just like Bix, there's multiple colors available on his Etsy shop, and I'll link to all of these websites down in the description below, some will be still available, uh, most of them for the, are still available, there's I think one or two exceptions, but two separate patches which is cool, so that flame you can use in conjunction with it, put them on the same patch, or you can use it by itself without the flame if you don't want a lit version, or put the flame above a different patch if you want to do that for whatever reason. And so, really cool pouch or patch from FTW. Now, continuing on the patch game, let's go with Justin Lundquist. He has the Krispy Kreme Clean Grinds. I have some other colors of this one, but new colorway just dropped. These should still be available. Also have the Justin Lundquist logo that comes with it, rather than a second version. So I think in the past he's done where you get two of them. Well, I know he's done that with at least one of the ones I ordered. Maybe it's different color combinations, but usually does a two-pack. Nice to see two different patches in this case. Last time I just traded off the spare. And that also came with a set of stickers, so matching but in grayscale, so that's pretty cool as well. Always like to see slaps. Now let's move on to, I guess let's go pocket art section of the video. And so this came from 52 Graves, we'll start again with the sticker just to kind of knock that out. Really cool skull with some dripping paint on there, and like the look of that quite a bit. And I picked up my first death cookie. This is the Cookie Monster variant, so obviously the blue cookie. And it glows in the dark, really cool, just piece of pocket art. Has no function besides glowing in the dark. You can use it as kind of a marker. I think that was the original tent, why they call them a death cookie. You can put it, you know, somewhere in your house where you have maybe a weapon, self-defense weapon, and you know to look for that glow marker to find it in the dark, but someone else doesn't. And so that was the original tent, but it really doesn't serve any purpose. It's just a cool thing to carry around with with you almost like a coin although it's matching on both sides so it's not like you can flip this or anything but really fun looking love the cookie monster theme which is why i finally picked one up really want the miami themed color way but missed that one glad i was able to get in on this one next up we'll go to a pouch and this was actually an april fool's joke that just really released so this is from zero feud this is their cup their compact utility pouch size a and it's white, but you can see the high-vis interior through it, so it does have that high-vis orange inside, which is why it looks a little bit orange or pink, peach color, but it is a white pouch, and this was their DIY custom pouch, and see, they advertise it, you can make your own custom design, and that's true, but you have to do it with a Sharpie or a permanent marker. This is the keyboard that they send with it. And so I like to doodle, not super artistic. I might doodle on this, or I might see if someone who's a little more artistic than me can put something cool on here. But it was a April Fool's joke, but I thought it was also kind of cool and would just be a fun thing to have and have someone draw on, or again, draw something on it myself. And it is still their standard size utility pouch with, and at the standard size price. So just normal functional pouch, but was a fun little April Fool's joke. I actually picked up last year's April Fool's joke as well, which was their dry erase REs. So that was pretty cool. Now let's go to Vital Carry. If you're not familiar with Vital Carry, they're a machine shop in the US here, and they do some really cool random things. A lot of pens and tool 
oriented stuff, a lot of metalworking and just random stuff. And I have some other products that I've shown in different pouch videos, but haven't done any kind of dedicated video to any of their products, I don't think. But let's start with, and I'm not sure which one's which actually, I'm gonna eventually have to color coordinate these caps. I've been into these random Sharpie things lately, like that aren't, look like Sharpies, aren't Sharpies, and this is another of those. So we'll see which one this is. Looks like it's the Perma Blade, and this has an X-Acto blade in there, kind of scalpel style, replaceable blade, and thought this was super cool. So it's a little bit similar to the punch marker that I just did a short on, but this one is really just meant to have kind of that X-Acto knife, not really a great self-defense weapon, like the punch marker is really only a self-defense weapon. This one really is more for just kind of precision cutting and random things, not really gonna be great for self-defense, although it would work in a pinch, it's just a really small thin blade that's gonna easily bend and damage and maybe even fall out, and so, really meant to use as a craft knife, but thought it was cool in this form factor, good way to carry around a little exacto. I believe it's a number 11 size. So that's what it looks like it says on the blade. So that is their Perma Blade. Then I also got their other, another item from them. This is the Perma Cache, and this is just an empty cavity to store random bits of gear, but it looks like a Sharpie from the outside. Obviously it has that metal tube insert. And I believe this is a stainless steel variation, although I think there was also a brass, copper, maybe even a titanium version. But just a little cache that you can store random small pieces of gear in. And they threw in some free gear to get you started in the form of 10 foot of Kevlar 200 utility cord because you can never have too much Kevlar. So you can wind this up. Obviously you'd have to flatten it out a little bit, drop it in there and store it in that container, but you can put really whatever you want, whatever would fit inside a normal standard size Sharpie, which is their starting point. Now, lastly from them, I also picked up a mystery item. I think it was $29 and they send you a random item from their lineup and usually you end up winning out getting something of more value. I don't know if they ever really send anything less value. And so I've done this once before and got the same item that I had actually ordered, which was a little bit of a bummer, but different colorway, so that was fine. This time I got something a little bit different. And they didn't actually send like the product card like they sent for the items I ordered, so they usually send you exactly what you got and the material that you got. Oh, actually, so that looks like that was aluminum, not even stainless steel. But this is a just Sharpie with a probably also aluminum body, maybe a stainless steel body, but aluminum body, and they put the Sharpie into a new casing instead of the opposite. So the other one, they took out the innards and put a aluminum tube in there to make it a little cache system. This one, they did the opposite. They took the body and put the marker the innards of the marker into here, so it's an actual Sharpie. I don't know if this is replaceable, if you can just remove this and continue to use it, or refillable. I don't know, I'll have to look into that. I didn't actually order this one, so I don't know a ton about it, but really cool. And just a, another different way to carry a permanent marker on you. And so with that, let's get to the item I was most excited about getting in the mail call today. And we'll start with the swag to give a little bit of a hint which they sent over the JRW Pocket Art and Tools logo, as well as the Tough as Nails logo on some slaps. And so that's pretty cool. Always including stuff like that. And this one was a little bit unexpected. He actually also threw in a brown and yellow beer koozie, which I thought was really cool. And didn't order this, but just kind of throwing in the item. Excited to get that for sure. Wasn't expecting that. And the last major clue into exactly what I ordered was an RE that came with it. And this is the JRW pointing finger or judge finger. And so cool little RE that really gonna give away, if you're familiar with the product line, exactly what I picked up. And actually I'm gonna move this off to the side for the purpose of space. And so I'll start with the item itself, which is the JRW judge and this is just a decision maker it's just a really cool version of it if you want to decide who's paying for drinks who has to who has to drink what knife to carry for the day it's just a spinner you can see there's a piece of metal sticking out of the back to keep it off balance and you can spin this to make decisions it also acts as a bottle opener you can put the cap under here just pop it off but the main purpose of it is a decision maker so i'll show you you can spin it on the table. It wasn't the greatest spin, but that's okay. It's gonna land and point to whatever it lands on. And so if you're trying to decide who's buying this round of drinks, you give it a spin and it's gonna finally land here. And 
it looks like me, it's pointing directly at me. <clears throat> so I'll lift that up so you can see that. It's got that pointing finger that you saw in the RE and it landed pointing directly at me. So just a really cool, fun item from JRW gear. And to go along with that, I ordered the sleeve that goes with it. This is a leather sleeve made to fit it. it. has that tough guy on the back with the JRW logo stamped in there and a little bit of a lanyard pull. And so this just kind of slides in there so you can put it in that protective sleeve, drop it in your pouch, drop it in your pocket, drop it in your bag, whatever you want. A few different colors of these available and just a really fun item that I missed out on the first time it dropped. So I was really happy to get in there and get this one. He did mention this drop was only brass, which is the one I wanted anyway, but he did mention that he's doing a run of stainless steel coming soon, as well as another run of the brass and might leave some with just the regular machine finish, super shiny rather than this kind of tumbled antiqued finish. So that's everything that I picked up besides the obviously Grim Workshop monthly subscription that's going to get its own video but everything that came today really fun haul just kind of random a little bit outside of the box EDC items this isn't your typical you know knife multi-tool flashlight all that just kind of random weird stuff so I thought it would be a fun one to share but thanks so much for watching be sure to let me know what your favorite item was down in the comments what you think of these if you have any questions about any of them as always I'll put links in the description to anything that I can at least their website I know some of the stuff's going to be sold out like the JRW but it is kind coming back in stock. The death cookies probably also sold out. I think everything else is just readily available online. So it's not like you have to worry about drops on this, but I'll put links in the description to all of them. And again, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button. And as always, hope you have a great one. Take care.